Replicated DNA condenses into chromosomes. Nuclear membrane disappears. Metaphase. Chromosomes align at the middle of the cell. Anaphase. Central mere divides in the sister chromatid separate. Single phase. The nuclear membrane forms. of each chromosome begin to separate and move to opposite ends of the cell. Telophase 2. A nuclear membrane forms around each set of chromatids and then the cytoplasm divides. Mitosis begins as the long threads of DNA in the nucleus start to coil. Having already replicated, these threads emerge as the double strands we know as chromosomes. Meanwhile, Protein fibers grow from the migrating centrioles, forming a latticework of spindles. For reasons scientists don't fully understand, the nuclear membrane suddenly disintegrates. With amazing accuracy, a spindle from each centriole attaches itself to each of the chromosomes. Assisted by the protein fibers, the chromosomes move center stage. In a microscopic tug of war, the spindles pull each chromatid toward opposite poles. Other spindles push against each other in a ratcheting action that stretches the cell. The chromosomes then unwind and the nuclear membranes reform. With mitosis complete, the nuclei and cytoplasm separate, creating two new cells in this ongoing cycle that sustains all life. The cell prepares for meiosis just as it does for mitosis. But as the DNA condenses, each chromosome finds its homologous counterpart. These matching pairs of chromosomes hold equivalent genetic information, one set from mother and one from father. Next comes the first shuffle of nature's genetic deck. The two homologues trade genes in a process called crossing over. This forms new hybrid chromosomes. The spindles then place maternal and paternal chromosomes randomly on each side of midline. It is another shuffle that can lead to a host of different genetic outcomes. Finally, spindle fibers pull the homologs apart. This leaves the sister chromatids intact. With twice the amount of genetic information the cells will need, nature must cut the genetic deck in two. The second division produces four unique sets of chromosomes. Because they carry half the genetic information, we call these haploid cells. Many of them will mature into sperm and eggs, the reproductive cells called gametes.